What's up everyone, this is JJ from Zeroverse where we talk about metaverse and crypto gaming related topics every single week. So to enter the yeah, game, just click on start exploring and it will bring you to this page. So you can either play using your wallet, which you need your own MetaMask wallet, or you can play as a guest. So let me continue as a guest first. Okay, so this is how it looks like once you enter. You can first choose your default character, you can customize it and you can also customize all these um, hair. So these are all default, default clothes, default shoes, default pants. So you do not need to buy them. They are all free. So just pick whatever you want at the start. Um, I don't want it to be bald head. This, yeah, I want something like this. And only skins and collectibles are NFTs where it is where you need to buy or mint from the marketplace but we'll get that later so you can choose your accessories as well mm -hmm. so you can just customize all of this all right so they will take you through a basic tutorial as well let's just quickly go into the portal in the middle so right here we have we are in the main plaza as you can see right now we are in the genesis plaza so just scroll out and you can see the full map of Decentraland. So a cool shortcut that you can go and teleport to different places. Just click on enter slash go to for the command and the coordinates. Right now, let's go to the Metaverse Fashion Week. Okay, we are here at the coordinate 104, 112 negatives of the Metaverse Fashion Week. Look at this. Look at how big is this. And as the, um, as the server loads, you will see more and more people over here. Just after a few days of playing this game, I went to their Decentraland marketplace and bought a few skins and accessories, especially these angel wings that I love so much. Look at my robot skin, as well as my anime waifu skin, which is so detailed, and I just bought it as soon as I see it. And these are the glasses that I got for free. So this set's looking pretty good right now. What do you think? How would you rate my set? I absolutely love this set. The neon wings and the anime waifu skins just suits so well. And this mecha robot looks quite good as well with the neon eyes, neon green eyes. So I bought them for I bought this mecha suit for five mana, which is around um ten dollars right now and i bought the anime skin for three mana which is around eight dollars so this is a really cool place i found out during the um, metaverse fashion week it is a really cool design and they're selling all sorts of fashion pieces and wearables in the central land and they are so unique and also really expensive and look at it they all designed this fountain and structure all by themselves which is so damn cool and during the metaverse fashion week you can claim a lot of free nfts such as this uh, metaverse glasses that i got and you can also claim some nft if you throw money to this statue but due to some errors um, i didn't manage to get the nft till today but basically you can go to all these events and complete missions and quests and they will reward you with some nft wearables but you need to find out more with their events and most of the time they are limited so this is the tokyo metro tokyo holy shit that's cool i jump if it's a bit lagging so i'm sorry this is not like an end product yet so it's gonna be a bit lagging when i jump but if you walk normally, it is completely fine. Uh, so this is some um, mini exhibition of the NFTs that this um, landowner owns. So look at this, all these clone eggs by rtfkt it is a really expensive collection recently gotten by nike 
So wow, this guy owns a lot of them, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, you can um, display on the art on the wall for people to check them out. And people can sometimes uh, buy them if they like or offer you some um, Ethereum in exchange for the NFT. And that's how um, the land owners are planning to monetize their land, which is to promote their NFTs. So this is the main fashion district and not the main, sorry, it's one of the largest one. This is where a lot of um, small to medium brands uh, come and promote their fashion items. And luckily there's this guy who helps me and shows me around places where I can get the free um, NFT thanks to him. But most of them are actually sold out. As you can see, the popes are also sold out and therefore I couldn't really um, get them. They are all limited stock. Um, next, we visit one of the most popular places, actually second most popular play to earn places in this central land, which is called Wondermind Crafting Game. So basically, you just wait for, oh, there's a meteor. Okay, so you just go to the meteor and just click on it and you can mine and just wait around 10 seconds, I guess, and they will give you some loot. As you can see, these are the loot that I got from mining for 10 seconds. You just need to basically just click on it. Go to the meteor and just click on it. And then you got this loot. And this loot, you can go to the crafting machine here to craft different items. You can either craft your own axe or you can craft items and then sell it in the Decentraland marketplace. So this is a completely free to play game in Decentraland. However, it takes a few weeks to get started. So either you earn the loot and invest back into the game so that you can earn more percentage of the loot or you can cash out and just straight make wearables and sell them in the central land. Most of the time, people are going to just invest all the loot to um, have a better pickaxe and upgrade their own items in game so that they can get more loot. So in the future, like after one month or so, you can create um, more variables more efficiently to then sell um, more variables um, easily rather than just cashing out every time you have. So I'm going to explain more of these play to earn games in the next few videos. So make sure you subscribe so when the video releases, you can get notified earlier. Next, we have a newer version of play to earn in the central land, which is called parkour to earn. So basically you do parkours and you can earn some things, some um, NFT variables that you can sell again. And here you have some information of parkour to earn. So it is from, yeah, it's every Tuesday and Thursday and you have 24 hours to complete them. And everyone who completes the challenge will receive an NFT parkour cap, which is an NPC. They said NPC, which stands for NFT parkour cap. So it looks like I need to complete this uh, parkour to, um, to get the NPC. This is not going to be easy. Holy shit. The things I, I actually even saw people do for five hours, do this parkour for five hours just to reach the top to get a screenshot. Holy shit, this is pure dedication, man. Just to get the NFT wearables. Oh, fuck. Next are the poker games in Decentraland. So they call it Ice Poker, I guess. So basically you play poker in this um, in these rooms. As you can see, there are so many people playing poker right now. And the reason why so many people play is that you can actually earn a lot of money from playing these poker games. However, it is not free to play. Like it says, you need to buy their so-called ICE ice wearable so that you can have the potential to play or not if you do not have that wearable 
you will only play for fun, play for free, and you won't earn anything, any real currency. But you gotta respect the effort that is put into designing this poker place. Look as luxury and majestic as it is. Look at, look at the design of this place. Holy shit! Finally, we have this um golf cart, golf game basically, or uh, another play to earn as well. But this is a play to earn that I dislike the most. So you see, there's someone actually, there's someone actually in the ground. What the fuck is she doing there? If you see there, I need to log in using my MetaMarsh. So I need to sign in and then I will be entered into the game. And you can actually see that um, the first floor and if you go to the second floor you can actually see things that can be exchanged using the um, in-game currency I guess so they are called surprise tickets and after you earn the tickets from playing on competition or tournaments you can exchange for one of these NFT wearables in this Decentraland and you can potentially sell them as well for quite uh, a, a lot of mount and if you go to the uh, game so this so this is the place where you can upgrade the golf cup so i realized that so the problem with a lot of um games in the central land is that there are so many currencies there are gems that eyes there are diamonds you know surprise tickets red tickets i don't know there's just so many things and I don't think it is that beginner friendly to be honest unless you have played for quite some time and you investigate your own self but anyways if you go and play the uh, golf game oh. it feels very two dimensional so as you can see I I need to walk there I can't see my character but I basically need to walk there and I use E and F to rotate it E and F, E and F, and then you s click it to set the power and shoot it. So it is not that fluid of a movement. So it does not have a fluid movement. Every time you finish playing um, this golf, you earn gold coins, which you can use to play competition, and tournaments, which you can earn the tickets where you can exchange for wearables all right this is it for this gameplay video um if you want more video like this feel free to comment down below and i'll think of making more because there's still a lot of things that i didn't explore yet and put into this video because it's going to be actually more than one hour long so i'm just covering all the important aspects of decentraland right now so if you want that make sure to comment down below give me a like and subscribe for more future content. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Zeroverse, peace out.